Hi everyone. Today's topic is solving first order linear differential equations. Let us first define them. Whenever highest order derivative is a linear function of lower order derivatives, such differential equations are called linear differential equations. Here, we are given a differential equation dy by dx is equal to pxy plus qx, where px and qx are functions of x. You can see the highest order derivative is dy by dx, and that has been written as a linear combination of y and y to the power 0. It is called a linear differential equation of first order, as the order of dy by dx was. 1. In the second differential equation, we have the highest order derivative d2y by dx square. That has been written as a linear combination of dy by dx, y and y to the power 0. Now, this is a second order linear differential equation. In this video, we will be solving only first order linear differential equations. So how do we solve them? What if we are given a first order linear differential equation dy by dx plus pxy is equal to qx? How do we solve that? We will first find an integrating factor e to the power integral px dx and we use the formula for finding the solution. The formula is y e to the power integral px dx is equal to integral qx e to the power integral px dx dx plus a constant of integration c. So what have we done? We found the integrating factor. We find the solution from y into the integrating factor is equal to integral right hand side into the integrating factor dx plus c. How do we get the formula? What if we are given the differential equation dy by dx plus pxy is equal to qx? If I multiply the whole equation by e to the power integral px dx on both the sides, what will we get? e to the power integral px dx dy by dx plus e to the power integral px dx pxy is equal to e to the power integral px dx qx. Now, the first two terms on the left hand side can be written as d by dx y e to the power integral px dx. And right hand side will remain e to the power integral px dx qx. If you have a doubt, you can just differentiate the product y e to the power integral px dx. Differentiate by parts, you will get the above term. Now, if you integrate this on both the sides, what will we get? Integral of d by d, d by dx will be gone. You will be left with y e to the power integral px dx. And right hand side will be integral qx e to the power integral px dx dx plus c. This is the formula. Let's come to some examples. In the first example, we are asked to solve the differential equation x dy by dx minus 3y is equal to x to the power 4. Given a differential equation, we have to first write it in the form dy by dx plus pxy is equal to qx. So what will we do? We will divide the whole differential equation by x. And that will give me dy by dx minus 3y by x is equal to x cube. The function of x which is associated with y is called px. Here, px is minus 3 by x. And the right hand side, which is a function of x, is a qx. Here, qx is x to the power 3. Find the integrating factor e to the power integral px dx. Here, it would be e to the power integral minus 3 by x dx. This is nothing but 1 upon x cube. So, we will write the solution directly. It is y into the integrating factor, which was 1 upon x cube, is equal to integral right hand side, which was x cube, into the integrating factor, which is 1 by x cube, dx plus c. 
Simplify, you will get the answer as y is equal to x to the power 4 plus x cube c. In the second example, we are given the differential equation dy by dx plus y is equal to 1 upon 1 plus e to the power 2x. You can see the function associated with y is 1, so px is 1, and the right hand side is qx, which is 1 upon 1 plus e to the power 2x. Integrating factor is e to the power integral 1 dx, which is e to the power x. Solution is y into the integrating factor e to the power x equal to integral integrating factor, which is e to the power x, into the right hand side, which is 1 upon 1 plus e to the power 2x dx plus c. For integrating this, you can take e to the power x as t, then your numerator e to the power x dx will become dt, denominator will be 1 plus t square, and integral will be tan inverse of t, t was e to the power x. So you will get y e to the power x is equal to tan inverse e to the power x plus c. You can bring this e to the power x on the right hand side, and the solution is e to the power minus x multiplied by tan inverse e to the power x plus c. In the third example, we have a differential equation 1 plus x square dy plus 2xy dx is equal to cortex dx. So we need to write it in the form dy by dx plus p xy is equal to qx. Divide by 1 plus x square all over and by dx. We'll get dy by dx plus 2xy upon 1 plus x square is equal to cortex upon 1 plus x square. Now it is in the required form. Px is 2x upon 1 plus x square. Qx is cortex upon 1 plus x square. Integrating factor will be e to the power integral 2x upon 1 plus x square, which you will see is 1 plus x square. Now, the solution becomes y into the integrating factor, which is 1 plus x square, is equal to integral. Integrating factor, 1 plus x square, into the right hand side, which is cortex upon 1 plus x square dx plus c. This 1 plus x square gets cancelled. You have to just integrate cot of x, which is log sine x. So our answer is y, 1 plus x square is equal to log sine x plus c. You can always bring the 1 plus x2 on the right hand side. In the fourth example, we have y dash. Now you know that these primes are used for denoting our differential coefficients. So here, y dash means divide by dx. So divide by dx plus y is equal to 2x e to the power minus x plus x square. Our px is 1, qx is 2x e to the power minus x plus x square. Integrating factor is e to the power integral 1 dx, which is e to the power x. Solution is y e to the power x is equal to integral. Integrating factor e to the power x. Right hand side, which is 2x e to the power minus x plus x square. If you open the bracket, you will get integral 2x plus e to the power x x square dx plus c. Now, integral of the first term will be nothing but x square. And this uh, second term, integral e to the power x x square, when we integrate by parts, will give us the remaining terms. Bring this e to the power x on the right hand side, our solution will be y is equal to e to the power minus s, x x square plus x square minus 2x plus 2 plus e to the power minus x c. In the fifth example, we are asked to solve y dash plus y cortex is equal to 2x plus x. Now here, p of x is cortex. And right hand side is 2x cos x. So integrating factors e to the power integral cortex dx. You know core integral of cortex is log sin x. So the integrating factor is sin x. Solution is y into the integrating factor is equal to integral right hand side, which is 2x cos x into the integrating factor sin x dx. These two will cancel. 
you have the right hand side as integral to x to x plus c, or your solution becomes y sin x is equal to x square plus c. You can always divide the right hand side by sin x, and you will get y is equal to x square cosec x plus c cosec x. In the sixth example, we are asked to solve 2y minus x cubed dx is equal to x dy. Now we'll first write dy by dx and take the y term on the left and keep all the remaining terms on the right hand side. So we'll get dy by dx minus 2y by x is equal to minus x2. px is minus 2 by x and qx is minus x squared. The integrating factor you will see will be e to the power integral minus 2 by x, which is 1 by x square. And solution will be y into the integrating factor 1 by x square is equal to integral right hand side, which is minus x square, into the integrating factor 1 upon x square dx plus the constant c. And as x squares will cancel, we will get the right hand side as minus x plus c. Solution is y minus x cube plus x square c. We brought this x square on the right hand side. In the seventh example, we are asked to solve y minus x plus xy quad x plus x y dash is equal to 0. So y dash, as you know, is nothing but dy by dx. So we will keep all the y terms on the left and other terms on the right hand side. So we get dy by dx plus y, 1 by x plus cortex is equal to 1. px is 1 by x plus cortex and qx is 1. Integrating factor is e to the power integral 1 by x plus cortex dx. Now this is nothing but e to the power log x plus log sine of x. Integral of cot you know is log sine x. Now this would be nothing but log x into sine x your integrating factor is x sin x. Solution becomes y into the integrating factor x sin x is equal to right hand side integrating factor into the right hand side which is 1 dx plus c. Do the integration by parts. Your solution becomes y is equal to minus cortex plus 1 by x plus c by x plus x. In the eighth example, we are asked to solve dy by dx minus 2xy is equal to 6x e to the power x square. Now here, p of x is minus 2x and q is 6x e to the power x square. Integrating factor will be e to the power integral minus 2x dx, which is nothing but e to the power minus x square. So the solution is y into the integrating factor, which is e to the power minus x square, is equal to integral Right hand side 6x e to the power x square into the integrating factor e to the power minus x square dx plus the constant of integration c. This will be 1 and you get the right hand side on integrating as 3x square plus c. The solution will be y e to the power x square brackets 3x square plus c. In the ninth example, we are given a differential equation x log x divided by dx plus y is equal to 3x cubed. Divide the whole differential equation by x log x because we need only divide by dx. So we get divide by dx plus 1 by x log x y is equal to 3x cube upon x log x so that 1x gets cancelled. Q becomes 3x square upon log x. And px is 1 upon x log x. Integrating factor is e to the power integral dx x log x. You can always take log of x to be t and differentiate 1 by x dx will become dt. So you'll have 1 by t. Integration will give us on simplifying uh, log of x. Solution becomes y log of x is equal to integral integrating factor log x right hand side 3x square upon log x dx plus c. Log x will get cancelled and right hand side becomes x cubed plus c. So solution is y log x is x cubed plus c. Now 
many a times you will see that there is a y term on the right hand side along with qx if our differential equation looks like dy by dx plus pxy is equal to qx y to the power n such differential equations are called bernoulli's equations and they can always be reduced to linear differential equations if i take n to be 0 see what will happen you will get a linear differential equation what we have been solving till now if i take n is equal to 1 again it would be a linear differential equation with right hand side as 0 we can take this term I've taken n to be 1, our differential equation to dy by dx plus pxy is equal to qxy. We take this term on the left, take the y common, we get dy by dx plus px minus qxy is equal to 0. This is again a linear differential equation. But what if our n value is greater than 1? Then we take z is equal to y to the power 1 minus n and this substitution helps us in reducing the differential equation to a linear differential equation. Let's see an example. Here we are given the differential equation x dy by dx plus y is equal to x to the power 4 y cube. Now, we see that this y cube is extra on the right hand side. This is a Bernoulli's differential equation. What will we do? We see that our n is 3. So we will take the substitution z is equal to y to the power 1 minus n. n was 3. So we get y to the power minus 2. Or you can say z is equal to 1 upon y squared. So if you divide the whole differential equation by x, we will get dy by dx plus 1 by xy is equal to x cube y cube. If we differentiate z is equal to 1 by y square, we will get dz by dx is equal to minus 2 y to the power minus 3 dy by dx. From here, we will take out dy by dx and substitute in our differential equation. We will get x for dy by dx, we write minus y cube upon 2 dz by dx and we have y term here right hand side is x to the power 4 y cube now if I make the substitution z is equal to 1 by y squared, our differential equation will reduce to dz by dx minus 2 by xz is equal to minus 2 x cube. You see p of x is minus 2 by x and q of x is minus 2 x cube. Integrating factor is e to the power minus 2 by x dx, which is 1 by x squared. So what is the solution? Our differential equation was in z. Your dependent variable was z. So z into the integrating factor 1 by x squared is equal to integral right hand side minus 2 x cubed. The integrating factor 1 by x squared dx plus the constant c you will see this becomes minus x square plus c. We get z is equal to minus x to the power 4 plus x square c. Now replace z by 1 by y square. You had z is 1 by y square. On simplifying, we'll get minus x to the power 4 y square plus x square y square c is equal to 1. Lastly, Many a times, the differential equation might not be easy to solve. So what we do, we try to write it in the form dx by dy. Or in other words, if we replace x and y, x by y in our differential equation, 
it becomes easy to solve. So let us look at an example. Here we are given e to the power y minus 2xy dy by dx is equal to y square. If I take the left hand side the term e to the power y minus 2xy on the right I'll divide y square by that term. It does not give us a differential equation of the form dy by dx plus pxy is equal to qx. But if I write it as dx upon dy, then it is easy to separate the terms. So dx by dy becomes dx by dy plus 2 by yx will be equal to e to the power y upon y square. Now you see here my dependent variable is x, independent variable is y. Here the function of y is taken as py and function on the right hand side of y is taken to be qy. So our differential equation is in the form dx by dy plus pyx is equal to qy. Py is 2 by y, qy is e to the power y upon y square. As the integrating factor, e to the power 2 dy by y comes out to be y square, the solution will now be x into the integrating factor y square. Unlike our previous cases where we took y into the integrating factor. Now we are taking x into the integrating factor which was y square is equal to integral. The integrating factor y square, the right hand side e to the power y y square dy plus c. And y square gets cancelled, we get e to the power y plus c. You will get the solution as x e to the power y square, eh, sorry, x y square is equal to e to the power y plus c. Thank you for watching. For examples, I have taken them from George F. Simon's second edition. For other courses, you can check my website www.profprithibajpay.com.